Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about prayer, and now that we've addressed what a prayer is, what kinds of requirements does a prayer need to fulfill in order to be a real prayer? We ought to pray respectfully, first of all. We should pay attention while we're praying, understanding our helplessness and dependence on God, with a desire for the grace we're asking God for, and with trust in the goodness of God. Finally, we should persevere and never give up praying. Some people pray while standing up, and others while sitting or kneeling. Kneeling upright is the most respectful position for praying, but the prayer is still a prayer, even if we're not in that position. We can even pray while walking or lying down, because after all, Jesus said to pray at all times. If we pay good attention to what we're saying when we pray, we shouldn't slip up and say the wrong thing very often, or end up saying gibberish. If we're in such a rush to get through the prayer that our prayers come out like that, that's not a real prayer. Another thing that's not a real prayer is if we pray while intentionally distracting ourselves from the prayer. If someone else distracts us, that's one thing. There are lots of distractions in the world, and that's not our fault. Our prayer is still valid. However, if we distract ourselves on purpose, that's not a real prayer. A distraction, in this case, means a thought that prevents us from thinking about our prayer or about God and His truth while we pray. In both cases, the point is to say the prayer sincerely and attentively. Rushing through a prayer and intentionally distracting ourselves cause the prayer to fail because we're being insincere or inattentive when we pray. Finally, some people think that God should answer all of our prayers since Jesus said, Because I go to the Father, and whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask me anything in my name, that will I do. John 14, 13-14 However, there are good reasons why not all prayers are answered, as the Catechism of Trent explains. But it is then especially that God looks to our welfare, either because he bestows on us other gifts of higher value and in greater abundance, or because what we ask, far from being necessary or useful, would prove superfluous and injurious. Catechism of Trent Sometimes God won't give us what we ask, because doing so would be harmful to us in some way. But, you might say, then does that mean that Jesus was lying when he said that he would do anything asked of the Father in his name? Not at all. Notice what Jesus does not say. He doesn't say he'll do this thing soon after it's requested, or in a way that the person is able to recognize or understand, or even in this life at all. It's possible that some prayers will only be fulfilled in heaven, and that doesn't turn Jesus into a liar. Jesus made us a promise, but that wasn't because he owed us anything. Next time, the prayer that Jesus taught. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.